It's a million degrees in Florida today. We're going to make some seared Tuna. ahi Tuna. tunas steaks. Mm -hmm. What else? Some pickled cucumber. An onion. Yeah. And then like a, what'd you call that? A ginger a ponzu sauce. ponzu and ginger and soy dip and sauce. We're going to do it on this royal gourmet flat top. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stay with us. All right, I have two cucumbers and I've already peeled them. Now I am just slicing them up. Now you can just go ahead and you can slice them normally if you'd like. Um, I'm doing these julienne style today. Just do them however you like. It's totally up to you. This is your recipe, right? I've already have one done, so I'm just doing the second one now. And like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and just get them sliced thin, just julienne style. All right, so I've got my cucumber sliced up nice and thin. Let's move that over here. Grab an onion. We're going to cut this guy up nice and thin. So we're going to take it. We're going to go down the side of this one. I'm just trying to get real thin slices. And again, this is your recipe, so do it your way. I just want to get it as thin as I can. We've got one half cup of water, one half cup of white rice vinegar, and then in here I've got a third of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of red flaked um, pepper, and a teaspoon of um, of Himalayan pink salt. I almost forgot what it was. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Two teaspoons of Himalayan pink salt. Some lemongrass. And I'm going to do this to taste. It's going to be about about a teaspoon. And then I'm going to top that off with just a little bit of cracked black pepper. Okay, good to go on that. And we're going to get this heated up. So we're going to bring this to a boil. And then we'll get right back with it. All right, so this has come to a boil. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this heat off. We're going to get our cucumber and our onions in here. And then we're going to be all set. Oh, it smells super good. For our tuna dipping sauce, we have ponzu sauce and soy sauce equal parts. It's two tablespoons each. And this is ponzu sauce. If you haven't used it before, it's super delicious. We're going to put this in here. And we have six tablespoons of lime juice. We have one teaspoon of red pepper flakes and two tablespoons of fresh ginger. Teaspoons. Or teaspoons. Two teaspoons of fresh ginger. And then to add some sweetness, we're going to use some honey. And that's going to be to taste. So that's about maybe a tablespoon and I'm going to stir this up and this is going to be for our tuna dipping sauce and that's it got a quarter cup each black sesame seeds white sesame seeds you don't have both use the one you have nothing magical just gives it that nice color now we got two beautiful tuna steaks. First thing you want to do is pat these bad boys dry just like so. Look at that. Beautiful. Tiny bit of avocado oil. You don't have avocado. That's easy for me to say, isn't it? You don't have avocado oil. Use olive oil. And now we're going to bring our sesame seeds back over. I know. You already figured this out. 
just going to coat these bad boys up. Look at that. I know, I could eat it right now just like that. We're about 425 here in the middle of our Royal Gourmet. Put down a little avocado oil. Now we're going to drop those awesome tuna steaks on there. Give it's been a minute maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. Getting nice and brown. Just a little more olive oil around these guys, or avocado oil. I want them to cook quick. We like these rare. Just want to get each one of these sides crispy. Again, not going to cook this more than four or five minutes total. Let's get our tuna sliced up. Show for the good parts. You show for the good part. Yeah. Is that what you said? All right. I hope it's rare. I cooked it a little bit. It's my first time on this griddle whole thing, right? What do you think? I think it's going to be delicious. I'm excited. Do you think it's rare? I think it's closer to like medium rare. Yeah, huh? It's rare in the center. Oh. We got a tuna here, pickled, uh, what's it called? Onions, carrot, uh, pickled cucumber. No, cucumbers, and our dipping sauce. Okay. Get you a piece. Let's try it. Okay. You want a piece? Oh, thank you. Dip a little in there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? That's good. What do you think? It's good. Try some of those. The sauce is good too. Big old cucumbers. I wanted the tuna rare. I gotta be honest with you. Mm. Oh, it's delicious, but it's closer to medium rare. What do you think? It's really good. Would you eat it again? Yep. I really like this. So, this the cucumber a lot. You get that nice Asian ginger, yeah, red pepper flake kind of. Oh, and uh, a lime I get in that dipping sauce. Yeah, it has a really good ginger, nice ginger taste to it too. I like that a lot. It's not overbearing though. I mean, with as much ginger as went in it, you thought it seems like it would have a lot more ginger. Yep. It's not. It's not too gingery at all. It's really perfect. And the cucumber and the red onion just gives that. Of course, it's pickled. No need to say that. But that crunch. Perfect. Yeah, thanks really for good. your help. Hope you like this. Hey, thanks for the folks at Royal Gourmet for sending out this griddle. Awesome.